Oh shit, I'm recording it vertically, like I'm at a fucking concert or something. Anyway, um... Uh, so, yeah, they're, they're just about to head off. Thank fuck. Um... Um... I have sensed the dark winds of Ganon gathering in that island. How did you do that? The boat shook his head. I can't tell you that, unfortunately. He muttered in shame before looking forward. However, please trust me, Link. Link looked bored. Why is it that you're so utterly secretive with whatever you say about me? The King of Red Lions turned to look at him. We don't have much time left to waste. We have to begin our way to Dragon Roost Island. Or you don't want to rescue Aral from Ganon? Link gasped and quickly prepared the sail. I hate it when people can convince and distract me so they can go so they can go away with these excuses to avoid being asked stuff like oh, I'm Link, can we just go? Chris asked before blushing. I I've never been in ship voyages before that much, so I wanted to experience this trip. Link looked annoyed before sighing. I see I seriously want to wish for someone to be here who can give me support some support with what I want to get for once. Why is nobody surprised that Chris that Chris said that? I mean, he's didn't didn't Chris and Lucario sell themselves as mysterious travelers or something, in a world that's essentially one big fucking canal? Uh, you know why would um, why would he not have gone on boat travel? It seems a worthy of questioning. I don't know. Um, who can give me some, give me some support as? I seriously wish, want to wish for someone to be here who can give me some support with what I want to get for once. We're here with you, Lucario pointed out. I mean morally, the boat grunted. Link, let us start our voyage, he ordered. Link stifled a grunt of desperation before he commanded the boat to promptly turn around and crash it hard against the wall of the cave. The trio looked shocked at this since the tip of the boat in which case was the King of Red Lions, crashed hard on the wall. Apparently, the western wind had picked up even more than speed than before, and since Link had the sail out, the wind was strong enough to turn the boat around and make it crash hard on the wall. The trio remained silent as the talking boat didn't make any response at the sudden action he suffered. They supposed that his face had crashed deep enough to make him unable to talk. Runk! And the talking boat on the wall began. Tell me something! Link gulped and shook a bit. Y yes you have never sailed a boat before in your life, right? N n no Then what made you think you could sail one? I, I guess it had to do with determination a bit. I would say a lot, Lucario commented. Link slapped his forehead at this while Chris looked down and frowned. <laughs> oh boy, that was a good one, Jim. Sometime la laugh track. Uh, sometime later, da -da 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 -da, after turning the boat to face the sea, the King of Red Lions, with a little X-shaped band-aid on his forehead. Where was he keeping them? That's, you know, ha -ha, funny, the boat's got a plaster. Where? Where would they put a plaster? And how would they make a plaster in fucking medieval canal land? Uh, the King of Red Lions, with a little X-shaped band-aid on his forehead, waited for Link to put the sail away. Once he did, the boat slowly started to cruise into the sea. We're docking in the western part of the island, the King of Red Lions explained. Wait until we get into the southern part, where you can use the sail. Link looked down. Hey, it's not my fault I don't know how to sail boats. How was I supposed to know I was going to do this? Um, you never foresaw this? N not at all, the boat sighed as they came out from the cave. Well, let me see when you can use the sail, he said. Lucario watched as the boat nicely cruised along the coast of the island. Once the boat got around it, the King of Red Lions looked at the west. Now! Sorry, now! Link yelled, pulling back on the sail. And the boat finally started its voyage to the west. Much for the pleasure of the four, they sat down as the boat peacefully saw the waves of the sea toward the east, where Dragon Roost Island...